What's up my peeps, time for a brand new episode of Zipping Mayhem and in today's episode I got a lot of great news to share with you guys in regards to Mayhem and the upcoming SummerSlam updates. So SummerSlam, the update should be coming soon because SummerSlam, the pay-per-view, the show itself, is coming soon. I think it's on August the 17th if I'm not wrong. By the way, speaking of SummerSlam, I was looking over the card and I'm like, yo, it's like almost all rematches. Somebody need to call the police! I want to talk about. I want to talk about the news, the upcoming stuff uh, that we can expect in Mayhem and that they've announced and this and that. So I want to start this off with a message that Reliance Games posted up on their Facebook page just a few days ago. And this started a lot of talk. It started, uh, you know, a bunch of speculation as well in regards to number one, who we would see in the brand new SummerSlam update because we do know that we're getting two brand new superstars, a wildcard and a technician. And also it got people talking about possibly seeing a much requested feature being added in the SummerSlam update. Pretty much the feature that everybody's been waiting for. The most requested feature, of course. You guys know which feature I'm talking about, Alliance Mode. Alright, let me read the message here. So the post said, Hello Mayhemers, this Friendship Day, by the way, is Friendship Day actually a thing? I feel like every single week I'm on Twitter now, I see a brand new holiday, like National Cookie Day, National Pizza Day. Are these actually a thing? I mean, I'm guessing they are because, you know, it's trending. they trend on Twitter, but it's kind of weird. Like every single week, there's a brand new holiday. So anyways, uh, choose your favorite tag team of WWE superstars and hashtag bring on the mayhem with awesome double team moves. Also, this is the important part here. Also, stay tuned for SummerSlam because when it's about friends, the more, the merrier, winky face would like the tongue out. Okay, so that part right there where they said because when it's about friends, the more, the merrier, that's what really got people talking. And people were either talking about, oh, that likely means that we're going to get more tag teams in the game. In fact, when it comes to the two brand new superstars, a lot of us have been thinking, myself included, that it's likely going to be the B team, Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. It would make sense, Bo Dallas as the wild card and Curtis Axel as a technician. Plus, they're the current tag team champions, they're not in the game right now, but at the moment on TV, they're, you know, an important part of Raw. I mean, they're the tag team champions, like I said. So that right there was one of the topics people were talking about. The second one is alliance mode. People were like, oh, you know, friends, the more the merrier. I think this is a hint for Alliance Mode because Alliance Mode, of course, will be like co-op mode, you know, where you're playing with other people. You've got this team of people to play with, and so this would make sense too. So people are like, oh, maybe the SummerSlam update, we're finally going to get Alliance Mode. Right off the bat, you know, when I saw this message, I actually didn't see it right away, but when I saw this message, I was like, nah, this is definitely not Alliance Mode. Here's the thing with Alliance Mode. People have been you know, saying, oh, Alliance Mode is likely going to come out with the next update. No, no, it's going to come out with the, you know, the, the other update. Whenever there's an update basically coming out and announced, people are like, oh, I think we're going to get Alliance Mode in this update. And one thing I'd always say when people would say that either in the comment section or on the Facebook group when they'd say, oh, I think Alliance Mode is coming with this upcoming update, I'd always say the same thing. I'd be like, nah, I think, you know, Alliance Mode, when it comes out, before it actually comes out, they'll let us know, they'll announce it, because it is the most requested feature. People want Alliance Mode, they've been wanting it for a while, so I don't think it's going to be a surprise, they'll let you know, hey guys, Alliance Mode is finally coming out with this upcoming update, the WrestleMania update, or whatever update it's going to be. And this was just what I thought, but Reliance Games also said that on the Reddit page in response to a post. I don't remember what the post was, but obviously had to do with Alliance Mode, and I'm pretty sure I showed the post you know, a while back in a video, basically they said the same thing, that before Alliance Mode comes out, that they'd go ahead and announce it. So, don't think that, you know, you'll just one day open up the game, and you'll see Alliance Mode with the newest update. You'll know first that, hey, Alliance Mode is coming with this update, because they'll go ahead and announce it. And I don't think it's just going to be a hint like this, and then, oh, all of a sudden, you, you, you know, download the brand new update, the SummerSlam update, and you've got Alliance Mode. So, right off the bat, I didn't, you know, think this was a hint for Alliance Mode at all. I was like, I think this is likely going to mean we're getting a tag team, a brand new tag team, for the SummerSlam update. I mean, they did say we'd get two brand new superstars, and I thought it'd be the B team. But, yesterday, they made a big announcement, and that pretty much 
confirmed that this message right here wasn't about the B team, it wasn't about alliance mode, but instead it was about the brand new match type that's getting added in the upcoming update, and that is the three versus three. That's right, six man tag team matches and this is something that people have been requesting so we're getting six man tag team matches now three superstars on your team three superstars on the opponent's team and when you go ahead and look at the message that they posted up on august 5th saying that when it comes to friends the more the merrier and this announcement right here three versus three six man tag team matches where we only had two versus two matches before when it came to tag teams you can make the connection right there Pretty sure, like 98% sure, 99% sure that that was what they were talking about. The new six man tag team match type. And here's the thing about the six man tag team matches. Now, personally, I would have preferred maybe a steel cage match, but the great thing about this six man tag team match being added into the game is it adds the possibility of a much requested move being added to the game as well. A lot of people have been requesting pretty much ever since the uh, tag team finishers were introduced in the game, the shield triple powerbomb. But the thing is, when it's just two superstars, well, you can't do the triple powerbomb. The next best thing would be a double powerbomb, but that's not as cool. And also, we don't have the double powerbomb in the game. It's not in the game, at least at the moment. But anyways, these three versus three matches pretty much open up the opportunity for us to get the triple powerbomb as a triple team finisher in the game. But as far as other triple team finishers, I really can't think of any. Really, the only one that comes to mind is the Shield Triple Powerbomb. Even the New Day, who's a trio, I don't think I've ever seen them do a triple team finisher. They've always ended the match with a double team finisher, either, you know, the uh, the Midnight Hour or the uh, the Backbreaker into the Stomp, which we've already got those in the game. Uh, and the Shield Triple Powerbomb is requested to this day. I mean, I just recently saw somebody make a thread on the community page asking for it. So now that we're getting this brand new match type, I think the chances of it happening are at least better than before. But that's not the only brand new thing that's been revealed for for the SummerSlam update, something else has been revealed today, and this to me is a better announcement than the 3 versus 3 one. So today they went ahead and posted up pretty much a hint as to who one of the brand new superstars is going to be in the SummerSlam update, and I'm really excited for this because this is a superstar that I've been wanting, and also a bunch of other people I've been wanting. So they tweeted this out saying, time to bring on the mayhem, cause WWE SummerSlam just got hotter. Keep tuned for more with this picture. You see a word scribbled out a bit at the top, although you know it ends with a no, and you can kind of tell before the O it looks like an N, and then under it is heat. What this seems to be is Latino heat, pretty much confirming that we're getting Eddie Guerrero in the SummerSlam update. I'm really excited for this. You know, they said that we'd get a technician and a wildcard, so it looks like Eddie Guerrero is going to be the technician. This is really cool. I hope he's got the quick strikes. And for those of you still doubting, you know, being like, um, it might not be Eddie Guerrero. If this isn't enough proof or you don't know about, you know, the nickname Latino Heat for Eddie Guerrero, well, if you go on their Instagram page, they posted up the same thing, but with some hashtags. And if you take a look at the hashtags, you see hashtag lie, cheat, steal, hashtag Guerrero, hashtag Eddie Guerrero. So Eddie Guerrero is indeed coming to WWE Mayhem. So yeah, this is really cool. Like I said, I'm excited for this. And this is, between the two announcements, this is my preferred one. Like, I really like the fact that we're getting Eddie Guerrero. So now, are we also going to get Rey Mysterio eventually? I hope so. That'd be cool too. But yeah, um, looking forward to seeing Eddie Guerrero and, you know, his two finishers. I'm pretty sure the Frog Splash is going to be one of them. And there has to be, he has to have the Frog Splash. And as far as his second finisher, maybe the Lasso from El Paso? I'm thinking that's going to be the second finisher, but who knows? Actually, you know what? It might be Three Amigos. Yeah, I think the second finisher either has to be Three Amigos or the Lasso from El Paso. I'd be fine with either one. What about you guys? Which one would you prefer as a second finisher for Eddie Guerrero? The three amigos, so the three suplexes one after the other, or the lasso from El Paso, which is a submission hold that Eddie Guerrero used? Let me know in the comments below. So yeah, lots of cool stuff coming in the SummerSlam update. I mean, this is just what we know, what is confirmed, but we already know that there's another superstar coming, so who's gonna be that other superstar? Likely the wildcard. Who's that wildcard? 
going to be and what other surprises will the SummerSlam update hold? Who knows, guess we'll have to wait and find out or maybe we'll get you know some more announcements before it actually comes out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, click the like button down below, let's try and get 220 likes for this one, I'd really appreciate it, and with that said, I'm out guys, see ya!